everyone, it's Feed Jose for you to back again, and today I'm going to do another top 10, and it's going to be orange decks. Yeah. <laughs> Number 10 is Ace Fulton's. Big surprise. That was on the other top 10, the brown decks. <laughs> Same difference that uh, they handle. They're just as ridiculous, considering it's supposed to be like based on the Jerry's Nuggets and the handle just as terribly apparently there's a newer version that's actually these ones do have a air cushion finish and they handle just as terribly as these smooth finish decks <laughs> unless it's a smooth finish that's new and it handles better i don't know but either way it is what it is <laughs> number nine hoil yes hoil shellbacks might be a little bit surprised, but they do come in orange. These ones are really hard to find. Took me forever to find them. Finally did. Look at that. Green pips. Green colors. It's standard. Everything is standard oil. Except a lot of neon green on the cord cards. And on the pips. And they got orange pips on the cord cards. <laughs> and all the other ones are green. Even the jokers are standard it's very neon-y but standard <laughs> and and then your back just your standard hoil again lots of orange it's not bad but <clears throat> i'm not too sure how i feel about the neon green and the orange kind of cool but court cards not liking them too much all right number eight is Yummy Yuri Giants. It's a baseball team from like China, I believe. Or Japan, possibly. Actually, with the name of Yuri Murray, I believe it's Japan. Maybe it says somewhere. Look at that. Orange faces on the cards. A couple of custom jokers, or at least one. But other than that, standard artwork. It's at least they got orange on the court cards, not like the one I looked at yesterday. <laughs> and <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> yeah, dear, go go giants, ace of spades. That's kind of interesting. And and yeah, they seem to not handle that great as well. But I like the orange tips, <laughs> so. That's where it is. Number eight. And number seven is the Giants again. Your Mary Giants is number seven. Why? Because it's different, <laughs> and I like it. This one actually has a couple of goofy gimmick cards, like a reverse card that's like you know and. Almighty, whatever that is. I like the orange faces. It's got white pips and black pips. And everything is pretty similar to the other deck except for it's a reverse back scheme. I like reverse back decks and I mean who wouldn't want an orange faced deck and a reverse back? Not even not even um whatchamacallit Magic Makers. Not even Magic Makers did a deck like this. They had all the other colors, but not orange. I like it. It's too bad they didn't do it. So that was 10, 9, 8, 7. 6 is the Orange Summer NLC deck. Again, I'm not going to get into it. It's just an orange back design with simple chord cards. And simple, minimal ace of spades and jokers. And that's it. It handles nice, it looks nice, but there's not much going on in it. <laughs> number five and number four are Rider Back and Standard. Slightly different box, same cards. Uh, so. 
why not? I need a ten. I need a ten deck, so I decided to just put them in separately. But it's basically a tie. I just want to get two blank cards in a standard. And in this one, you get two blank cards as well. So it's exactly the same thing, but the exact same person. I got no complaints. I like ones right back, so I like right backs. Uh, I kind of like this box on the front and this one on the back, so I wish they would have combined them. Because that would have been pretty cool. There in this back. And, well, this front's not bad. But anyways, <laughs> here I am analyzing boxes. Number three. Tally hole, baby. I like tally holes, as you can probably guess. And I love orange. Uh, sorry, I love uh, circle backs. So, circle backs. And it's orange. It's pretty cool. Handles very nicely. Comes with a double backer and a blank. Everything else is standard, but I like it. I'm going to move along. Next on the list, number two The Animal Kingdom from Fury 11. Again. Very nice deck. It's got a good cause. You buy it. Money goes to this cause. Animals. We're well about fun, I believe. Custom seal inside of the box is awesome. And custom faces, pips. Look like they're hand drawn. Custom court cards with animals on them. Whoops. Custom jokers. Totally 100% custom. Which you don't usually see a whole lot from Fury 11. And the back design, sadly, is a one way back design. But it's very minor details. And it's got nice thin borders, too. Pretty cool. I like it. I pick one up, it's for a good promise. There's a lot of decks you can do that for. Alright, we're down to one. What could it be? What is number one? Well, it's probably not one you would have thought of. Because you may or may not know of it. The Polaris Solar Edition. And it's the first time I'm kind of revealing this one. I haven't reviewed it yet. This is from Vanda. There's two more. There's a Lunar and there's a Eclipse. Which is the black one. Pretty cool box. A couple of cool gimmicks. We'll get to when we get to the review. Look at those pips. There's four indexes, completely custom pips, faceless code cards, <clears throat> and it's super colorful. Every suit has a different color, and you can see the badassness of these pips. On there, your jokers look like the sun. The pips they look like they're whole, like they're. Nothing in the middle, which is kind of cool. I like the court cards. I'll show you some of these aces. I will look at this in more detail when I review it in coming weeks. The best part, the backs. Check that out. Awesome. It's a good fanning deck, because if you like cardistry, and it just looks very nice. And the other ones, Pretty cool as well, but this one's probably one of my favorites. And definitely my favorite orange deck. That is what I've got. And I'll see ya next time.